Snackers. Matt DiNapoli here. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander, and I'm a developer advocate with Cisco DevNet as well. Welcome to a special episode of the DevNet Snack Minute. If you're new to Snack Minutes, this is your 10-minute weekly all things Cisco DevNet, which is going to introduce you to some cool things about coding, APIs, or just fun stuff that's going on in the DevNet world. And today we have a special guest for you, Mandy Whaley. Hi, how's it going? I'm really excited to be here on Snack Minute with you guys. Um, I'm Mandy Whaley. I lead our DevNet and technical community and certifications team for Cisco. So um, everything about helping developers use our APIs, I get to work with amazing people like Matt and Kareem. And uh, we also do a lot of work on the paths that you can take to build the skills, to um, learn about Cisco technology, to learn about software skills, to learn about automation, and then prove and test those skills by earning some certifications. Awesome. Mandy, I know we talk about this a lot and what we do in DevNet here um, and what we try to expose our community to. To you, um, what is engineer of the future? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, so this is uh, absolutely one of my most interesting areas to me right now is, you know, I come from a software development background. I'm working with a lot of DevOps, network engineering teams, infrastructure engineering teams, and we're really looking at how all these skill sets have been evolving over time. And um, what we see at Cisco is that the most successful teams, the most successful companies are building teams with this combined skill set of infrastructure skills and software and automation skills. And whether those skill sets are combined in one person or combined within a team of engineers who have specialties, that's what it really takes to, um, to succeed with the scale, the speed, the agility, the distributed nature of applications that we're seeing today. Um, and we've really seen this come you know, into effect with COVID and the way that companies have had to respond really quickly. Uh, automation came to the forefront of being very important and um, companies that had at least a start on those skill sets have been able to respond more quickly. And so now we're seeing increased interest of how do people take teams, work with their engineers, build towards these automation and software skill sets and create this you know, engineer of the future. And part of that has a lot to do with new, new job roles that are coming out of that. So these business drivers of you know, speed and agility and scale are driving things like the need for, uh, you know, CI CD pipelines for more than just your software, even for your networks, for your infrastructure. Um, and out of that is these new job roles emerging, things like a network automation engineer or DevSecOps engineer, bringing security, you know, strongly into your DevOps flow. And that's part of what we're we're learning from the DevNet community on, and we're working with the DevNet community, is on how people are building the skills to go after those new job roles. So there's a lot of opportunity and a lot of fun stuff to learn. I think everybody here that's at Snack Minutes is probably somebody who gets excited about learning new skills, getting hands-on and trying new things. So um, that's what I think makes this area really exciting. So Kareem and I in the past have, have talked about certifications and uh, the different types of DevNet certifications that are available. And what I'm seeing now is uh, a rush, actually, uh, to, to get certified in these areas, DevOps, DevSecOps, uh, specifically in automation, or even uh, just coming in at the, at the ground floor with the DevNet associate. Um, you know, being a person who runs uh, some of the study groups or has run some of the study groups, I'm starting to see people um, you know, celebrating their passing, uh, but they're they're trying to get into something we're calling uh, DevNet Class of 2020. Can you expand on on what that means and and what it looks like for our community as a whole? Absolutely. So DevNet Class of 2020, it's so interesting. Um, it grew. This concept of it grew uh, organically from when we had DevNet Day at Cisco Live US. Is really when it started picking up momentum in the community and. As we were, you know, like you said, helping people through study groups, working with people, build towards the DevNet associate or professional certifications, uh, people started realizing that this is the first year that the DevNet certifications have ever existed. And, you know, within the Cisco community, CCIEs have such an amazing 
you know, regard and such high expertise, a lot of people started remembering back to that very first year of CCIE when that existed, which was 1993. And, you know, anyone who got their CCIE that year is kind of a legend in the Cisco community. And even for several years after that, right, like anyone with one of those really lower CCIE numbers that got it um, in those first couple of years, that's really a, a mark that you dove in early. You put in the work and the time and the dedication to learn those skills and move your career forward. And people started realizing this is the first year of DevNet. Uh, DevNet class of 2020 will be those people who took that step in this first year that it was possible. And so we wanted to really like celebrate that and encourage people to try and um, you know take the leap. Maybe you've been studying, maybe you don't feel quite ready, but you wanna go ahead and give it a try to make it into the class of 2020. So we wanted to, to celebrate people who were you know being bold and stepping forward and doing that. And we have a couple different things that are um, we're doing to help with that. We've been running some study kind of um, starter helper sessions where we're, we're quickly introducing the topics and showing you the resources that you can use to study, um, ways to get started with Python and containers and uh, tools like Ansible, um, and then just software development concepts that are covered in the exam, as well as the Cisco platforms. And then some fun stuff too, where if you make it into the class of 2020, you know, there is some special recognition. There's a super cool digital badge, which I've seen popping up different places. <laughs> yep. um, and then, um, and then you know, some fun things like, you know, probably cool um, t-shirts, sweatshirts, ability to meet with the DevNet team more regularly, um, kind of a whole host of, of interesting things you can get. And we're also giving 25% off the exam just to give a little bit of an extra push um, to help get over that line if you're trying to do it in these last couple weeks of December. Yeah, so take advantage of that, everybody. That 25% that is, is the, the biggest, most immediate uh, benefit to trying to get into the class of 2020. So good luck to you all for, the, for that effort. Mandy, on the last note, we asked all of our guests this. Uh, if you had one superpower, what would that be and why? Oh, wow. That's a good question. Uh, and actually, it's kind of fun because I have two teenage sons, and this is like a popular topic in car trips and debate that we have. And I think that um, mine would be to be in more than one place at the same time. <laughs> so nice. I think that's what I would choose is like if I could somehow through a connected Mandy Borg be in multiple places at once and be able to, uh, you know, be uh, moving lots of projects forwards, having lots of fun, having all those experiences, that would probably be be my my choice. And, co and continual learning, right? <laughs> yeah, continual learning, right? <laughs> <laughs> but but can't you do that now with multiple WebExes, Mandy? That's kind of true. That's kind of true. But, uh, you know, I like to, I want to be in multiple places and giving it full attention in each one. So that would be, that would be my goal. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mandy, thank you so much for joining us today and inspiring us to go forward and try to join the DevNet class of 2020. Uh, we know you're very busy with, with all your schedule. So we really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. It was super fun to be a part of Snack Minute. And I hope we see lots of snackers in the DevNet class of 2020. Um, if you're looking for any of the things to help you study or any of the information about it, you can go to developer.cisco.com slash class of 2020. So, and thanks again. Thanks so much for having me. And thank you, snackers, for joining us on this special episode of DevNet Snack Minute. See you next week.